Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today I am impressed for us to study from the book of um, Isaiah chapter 43. And I'll be reading from the King James Version. Hallelujah. I read. But now thus said Jehovah that created thee. This is God speaking now. And it's directed at yourself. He's speaking to you. But now thus said Jehovah that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not. God is telling you, don't be afraid. Fear not. For I have redeemed thee. He's speaking to you. Fear not. Remember he says in Galatians 3.13, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. It says, fear not. Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have paid a ransom for you to buy you back. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. God is saying you are his. He has bought you back, so you now belong to him. He has redeemed you, so don't be afraid. Whatever it is that is trying to trouble you, he says, fear not. Do not be afraid. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm impressed to speak this way. Do not be afraid. You now belong to God. He has bought you back. He has redeemed you. So you belong to him. You don't belong to another. Nobody can trash around with you. Nobody can mess around with you. No being can mess around with you. You belong to God. You are his property now. It says, I have called you by your name. Verse 2 says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. So he's telling you that you will pass through the waters. But he will be with you. He's not saying you won't pass through. He says he will be with you. In essence, he's telling you to trust him. He will be with you. It says, And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. So no matter the situations or circumstances, it will not be all encompassing that it will subdue, subjugate, and swallow you. He says it will not overflow you. It says, When thou walkest through the fire, he's telling you that, these trials will be there, but he's telling you he'll be with you. And that when you walk through the fire, he says you shall not be burnt. So the fire will be raging. It appears like it's going to consume you, but he's telling you of a certainty that you will not be burnt. Trust him. Believe him. Believe him. Now he says, Thou shall not be burnt. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. So it will not... It will not uh, scorch you. It won't kindle upon you. You will not be, be your hair will not be singed. You will, it will be as if you pass through. It was evident to the to those around, but when you come out from the other side, there will be no evidence that you actually pass through those difficulties. This is a, this an assurance from him. He's telling you, because he has redeemed you, he has you you are his property. You belong to him. He has called you by your name. He knows you personally. He says, do not be afraid. He knows that when normally if you pass through those kind of circumstances, they, they, they cause fear. And when fear comes, that's when these things now affect you. So he says, do not be afraid. When you go through there, he will be with you. Now listen. For I am, the, I am Jehovah thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom and Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. Is there any promise that, or anything that one can tell you that is better than this? He says, look, oh, trying times will come. But take heart. Don't be afraid. You now belong to him. He has paid a price for you. Do you remember that price he paid? The blood of his son. He paid that price for you. You now belong to him. You don't belong to any and anything you belong to the king of kings the lord of lords jehovah almighty himself and he says he promises that he will be with you do you also remember he says that he will never leave you nor forsake you uh, hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 he will never leave you nor forsake you galatians 3 13 he has redeemed you uh, isaiah 43 verse uh, 2 or verse 1 says that he has redeemed you and he has called you by your name and you belong to him you are his 
if you sit back and think about this a little, don't just hear it and glibly recite it and run away. No, think about what he's saying here. Let it make sense to you on the inside. He's, tell, he's, call, he's telling you that he is your God. The God of Israel. He is your God. He says that he created you. So he knows you from even before you were formed. He is your God. And he says, fear not. What is it that can terrify you? All these situations and circumstances. He's telling you, do not be afraid. He's not suggesting to you. He's commanding you, don't fear. And why is he saying, don't fear? He says, for I have purchased you back. You now belong to me. You belong to him. And because you belong to him, when you go through those things, not if, he says, when you go through, he will be with you. And they will not have the power to harm you. As long as you are not afraid, as long as you trust him. Praise God. It says, For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. So he's telling you he will save you. He's the one that saves you inside all these things. I, and he, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. It will lose its ability to harm you. That's an assurance. That's the one who created has told you, take it to the bank. Rest in it. Rest in it. God bless you. Hallelujah.